Oh, this is a long trip. Jesus. I don't, I don't, I'd have fallen off by now. Nothing. Can you hookshot onto one of the ladders? On that roof. Um. Yeah, you should be able to hookshot onto that ladder. Maybe, hmm. maybe when the platform is rising up, jump off it. Maybe. Yeah, try that. Uh oh, you've got an incoming crow. All right, jump now. There you nice. go. Nice. All right. Douchebag. Nice. Shut up, Navi. Yeah. What do you want, Navi? Just wants attention. Hey, listen. You miss nothing, Rainbow. Yeah, I um. I got another skull to look so Ooh, hello. Nice. Just need one more piece of heart before you get another heart container. And I, and I know one that you missed at Zora's Fountain. All right, well, time to take care of that. Oh, Ouch. Fuck. Well, you might want to call your, your horse call. first. Well, I got to get or better, Or better yet, just, just to Death Mountain. You know the Bolero fire, down A, down A, right A, uh, oh, down A, down A, right down, right down. Royal Paladin is saying, Golden, take the sword blade to the old man near the desert. Yeah, we'll, we'll get to Gerudo Valley in due time. Anyway. Ah, okay, okay. There we go. Da, 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 da. Do, 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 do. Ocarina of Time's definitely got some of the most iconic music in video games. Yep. Oh, shit. Oh, it's getting hot in here. Yeah, just hook shot, on, hook shot onto the broken ladder piece there. And you can climb it as a ladder. If only there was a way to switch Navi to silent mode. I know, right? <laughs> so the saw is supposed to go to the old man of the desert, but also, um, it's supposed to be. What are what was? I lost. What did I need to go on city for or Death Mountain? To get to Kakariko Village. Okay. Oh wait, that goes to the Lost Woods. That's the way to the Lost Woods. Yeah, I recognize that little like um, Sarius theme. Oh, I hear a gold skeleton in this room, and it's in the center platform back there. You can use the long shot to get it now. Hang on. Where is it? It's on the middle platform up above you. To the left. It's left. Upper left. Oh, there you are. Yeah, since you got the long shot, you can get it. Mm -hmm. And while you're in Kakariko Village, you can see those gold, cursed gold skeleton guys to claim a reward. Yeah. Christ, the musical pony says, "You know what's terrifying in the Legend of Zelda franchise? That enemy re-deads." Oh God, the, those guys no, are no, annoying. No, the most terrifying enemy in Zelda is Sephiroth Corrupted. Oh, it's nighttime. That's why I couldn't find the exit before. Credit where credit's due. For an N64 game, the, the scenery does look really nice. Oh, yeah, no, this was a big deal back then when it came out. Yeah. yeah. 
So I would argue the best looking Nintendo 64 game is Banjo Tooie. Whoa, shit! I need to play it. You know, Watch out! I still have yet to stream uh, Banjo Kazooie. Like I haven't played it either, so that would be an interesting take. But also, oh, I would, I would love, I would love to be a guest commentator on that for as well. That's a big childhood classic. It's a, apparently it's a lot game. of people's childhoods. Yeah, and the thing about Banjo Kazooie is that you don't just listen to the music; you experience it. Yeah, I, I need to sit down with a banjo game one day. Maybe. It's just, just like sit down, sit down with one with like a drink and just chill. Oh, by the way, you can, uh, um, before you do anything else, you can talk to that guy up there with the long shot. The one on the blue rooftop. Uh, a little for. Second, like, I need to get a better view. Um, this dude? Not that one. A little further ahead. Alright, so I'm gonna have to get a better view. Wait, there's that rooftop right there that should. Oh. Yeah, yeah, from. If you get, you're you're not in a good angle. Okay. You have to go a little further back. Um, hang on. You have to get a right angle. Yeah, try here. Yep, right there. Here, speak to the guy now. You have to exit Z targeting. What's up? Hey, good to see you again. I'll give you this as a memento. Well, and then. you've got a new heart container. Excellent. All right. Uh, where's the Skulltilla house? It's right down there, where that little fence is. So where that old man? Well, where the old man yep. was. Where the old man was and is. Yeah, like for a brief moment he disappeared. I guess it was like. Come on, inside we go. Hi, how you doing? Since you destroyed 30 spiders of the curse, the curse is starting to weaken. Did the kids who hey. return uh, normal give you any awards? You should know that the only way to become very rich is to destroy as many spiders of the curse as possible. There are some tricks to finding them all. First of all, you'll have to hunt at night. Secondly, keep in mind that they love soft soil. Okay. Pay close attention to your surroundings. Please, we're counting on you. All right. And keep in mind when he says soft soil, that means you can only find those ones as a kid. First has been broken. Thank you. Here's a reward. A stone, a stone of, of agony. agony. You can equip it with a That's basically pack. where you insert a rumble pack in the N64 controller. But since you're playing on an emulator, it's next to worthless. Yeah. It would have been cool if, like, because there are some game pads that still, um, that also have its own rumble ability. It would have been cool if the emulator would have, like, the feature of the rumble pack. Hmm. Yeah. Mm hmm. Alright, so what do I do here? A giant's wallet. You got the giant's wallet. Now nice. you can have 500 rubies. Five fucking hundred. Are you going to donate money? Uh, are you going to donate the money to you? Oh, um, Kuba, that's at that, uh, that, I've already reached that milestone. It's on my to-do list. How would it work for the GameCube version? Basically, if, if you, if you're peeling Master's Edition or the Collector's Edition, it would just use the Rumble Pack automatically within the controller feature. You said there's a total of 99 uh, tokens to find, right? 99 Skolotus or 100. Something like that. Well, with how... I know when you get, I think, 50, they give you a piece of heart. Well, I mean... That is pretty cool. Alright, uh... Alright, so let me think. Let's, let's head to... Where should we go next? Uh, there well, was... let's... Go ahead. Should we go to Ger Gerudo Valley first to give that old man the saw? Yeah, I yeah. think we should do that first. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. I didn't even, like, I... I've not... Actually, I haven't entered that area yet. That's gonna be interesting. Alright, Kuba says there are 100 gold skull to tokens. If you free the last person, he gives you 200 rubies. Holy shit. Alright then. Yeah, as soon as I leave, it stops. Actually, 
Go back to Kakariko Village for a moment. All right. I just saw the horses waiting for me. Whoa! What the hell? A cutscene? The whole village is on fire! How? Jesus Christ, I leave for one goddamn second and all of a sudden chaos ensues! Are you shitting me? Holy yeah, all hell's God. broken loose. Jesus. Get back. All right. Magical star? Of course he didn't do it. You know, it's weird that it's raining and yet is. I. Cheek! Ouch! That had to hurt. Happen, dumbass. Looks like you're coming around. Cheek freezing. A terrible thing has happened. The evil shadow spirit has been released. Impa, the leader of the Kakariko village. Um, had sealed the evil shadow spirit to the bottom of the well. But the force of the evil spirit got so strong, the seal of the well broke. It escaped into the world. I believe Impa has gone to the shadow temple to seal it again. But she will be in danger without any help. Goldie, Impa is one of the six sages. Destroy the evil shadow spirit. If oh no, not this dungeon. You hate the Shadow Temple? The Shadow Temple is ridiculously cryptic. And not to mention that that Bongo guy, you have to have mad reflexes to know when he's going to either punch you or try to grab you. And you got to be ready to use your, um, your arrows on him. But fuck. Uh, okay, that explains so much. I leave for one goddamn second and the village catches fire after I backtrack. I'm... That's a new Academy record. I didn't even know that fire could, like, expand that fast in the blink of an eye. Then again, it's fire, but... It's, it's... Unless, of course, gasoline was the fuel source. Did gasoline uh, even exist uh, back then? Not in the Zelda universe, to my knowledge. Uh, Alright, song time. You know, I, I noticed that this is one of the only times that Sheik speaks to you and teaches you a song that doesn't sound poetic. Does anybody else notice that? All right, well. Oh, that melody is unsettling. Well, that's the idea. No, that's right. There's also the lens of truth. Yeah, you're going to need the lens of truth before traveling to the Shadow Temple. Yeah. You have learned the Nocturne of Shadow. I remember that there's um there's one of those little mini games in the um at the market as Young Link, and you have to open one of the treasure chests to get a key to continue. The Lens of Truth yeah, is you'll... extremely helpful there. Yeah, you need the Lens of Truth to even beat it. Well, yeah. And I think you get like a heart piece for that. Yep, that you do. All right, so on to Gerudo Valley then. Yeah, let's let's continue the quest and get the bigger on sword. Yep. Cuba says to me, "Nope," and I don't care. God, that was so fucking weird. Hi, Apona. Let's go for a ride. Um. It's like Link could sniff something that wasn't right. Okay. 
Do you know how to get to Gerudo Valley? It's at the far west part of Hyrule. Oh wait, that's east. So west is this way. Yep. What's that thing on the upper left uh, corner of the screen? It looks like a mini house. Oh, you know what I just realized? If you go there, you can get a piece of heart. Because you've got the iron boots now. Do you remember that that little pool of water that had a heart piece at the very bottom but you couldn't reach? Uh, where was it? It was at the top left corner of the map. Hang on. So, I think it was over here. Hang on. Yep. Alright, let's take a look. I think... I think you had to bomb some... Oh, hey, it's a big Poe. Well, it's gone now. Those things, like, disappear fast. Alright. Yeah, you gotta have good reflexes when hunting them. So I have to get across this lake, or what? Yeah, it's a small stream. Okay. Um, and you said iron boots? No, you have to bomb a piece of ground first. Hold on, let me let me check a guy real quick. Hang on, I see. Uh... Yeah, this is one of those times where the stone of agony would help you immensely. All right. Well. It. Go ahead. Hold on. I'm. I'd have to send you a picture real quick, though. What is down there? Yeah, I'm let's a take a look. Curious. Link, you're standing right there. Game. Like the mechanics. Okay. Oh, it's a fairy fountain. Are you gonna restock on the lost fairy you lost? Sure.